Good morning, County. I'm Jacob Latimer. I'm Jada Hamby. And this is the Colonel Cast. We hope your year is off to a great start. On today's episode, we bring you classic entertainment, sports, and world news, along with introducing our new segment, Hot Ones, where we bring you your favorite teachers and ask them spicy questions, all while they eat spicy wings. Also, we'll have this week's feature story, To the Moon or Not. With all that being said, let's get into it. It's time for the CCN. This year, we are making some changes to how we do the World News segment. We are going to do a feature story and go more in depth than we usually would with just a quick summary. That said, we are pleased to present our first fe feature story on NASA's plans to return to the moon. If you don't know anything about the story, here's some introductory footage to help. The directive I'm signing today will refocus America's space program on human exploration and discovery. It marks an important step in returning American astronauts to the moon for the first time since 1972 for long-term ex exploration and use. This time, we will not only plant our flag and leave our footprint, we will establish a foundation for an eventual mission to Mars and perhaps someday to many worlds beyond. This directive will ensure America's space program once again leads and inspires all of humanity. The pioneer spirit has always defined America. At 15 seconds, guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9, ignition sequence start. 6, 5, Four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. We have a liftoff. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Shadow. Four forward, drift into the right a little. 30 seconds. Forward drift. Contact light. Okay, engine stop. Tranquility base here. The Eagle has landed. Rocket Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys in the back of the turn. We're busy. Armstrong is on the moon. Yeah, Neil Armstrong, 38-year-old American, standing on the surface of the moon on this July 20th, 1969. Achieving that. And Mr. Vice President, I can tell you, I am confident we can get to that first launch in 2020 for SLS and actually fly the crew capsule around the moon. We will be using the Gateway as a reusable command module to get boots on the moon as soon as possible. 2008 2009, NASA made important discoveries, hundreds of millions of tons of water ice on the poles of the moon. We want to be able to get to that polar region. We need a reusable command module. We need a command module that can, no kidding, maneuver around the moon. That's what the Gateway is all about. America will once again astonish the world with the heights we reach, the wonders we achieve, and we will lead the world in human space exploration once again. Now let's get to work.
50 years after the moon landing, NASA is looking to go back. The current projected date is 2024, but the question is, should we? Many question whether it's worth time and money to go through with it. Adjusted for inflation, if the Apollo 11 mission were done today, it would cost roughly $150 billion. NASA's current administrator, Jim Bridenstine, estimates the mission to go back in 2024 will only cost 20 to $30 billion. In comparison, the U.S. military spends almost $700 billion a year, and the housing department gets $44 billion. To explore this issue, we went out and asked you all your thoughts on whether we should go back or not. I think we should go back, because, like, let's see if there's aliens and stuff, you know? Like... I think we should spend our resources on something else, like going to Mars, just because we've already been to the moon. Well, honestly, I think since, like, global warming and everything is going on right now, we should just go ahead and, like, take all our stuff to the moon and just, like, live out our lives the good way in space. I think we've already been to the moon, so I think it'd be nice if we could spend our resources on something else that we haven't, um, you know, figured out yet or seen. Or do both. I think we should only go back to the moon if there's something we get out of it. Resources uh, would be a you know, viable option. If we're just trying to see if astronauts can live without air, let's try under the ocean first. It's a whole lot closer. I think we should go back to the moon to prove that there are aliens and aliens are real. I think we should be returning to the moon because there is a whole lot of stuff we don't know about yet. No, because I don't think it's necessary. It just depends because a lot of people say we haven't even been to the moon, so we might be going for the first time. But is that a yes? I don't know. A lot of people say it's not possible because <laughs> of the Van Allen belt. A lot of people say it's not possible to land a man on the moon and that it never happened. It was fake. So can we even go to the moon? Is it even possible? Maybe NASA needs to spend some money on public relations to convince Americans why we should go back. Are we being too nearsighted by not considering a future where we may need to leave the Earth? Or maybe we need to heed the sagely warning of Michael Bay and consider why we might not want to go back. Neil, you are dark on the rock. Mission is a go. You cannot believe what we're saying. We're not alone after all, are we? No, sir. We are not alone. Either way, thank you to all who volunteered to voice their opinions. So, where are you from? I'm from here. Uh, I grew up here in Henderson and lived here all my life. Uh, even though I was principal down in Madisonville, I continue to live here. My wife, she works in Evansville, but I uh, grew up in Zion. It was a Herbertsville Bulldog, I'm sure. Your Herbertsville was still open then, huh? No, Spotsville, right? I went to Jefferson. Went to Jefferson. Yeah, okay, nice but grew up in Zion. Nice there. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, I've always wanted to come back home. Uh, I had a, you know, a good thing going in Madisonville, uh, but this is home to me. So uh, I had the opportunity to come back home. So I'm happy to be back home. Uh, th there's some of the same people, but uh, as far as faculty and staff, uh, there's quite a few different teachers and also uh, secretaries and things like that. So uh, I'm trying to learn everybody, uh, but uh, it's, it's kind of been a little bit difficult. But yeah, it's, uh, you know, quite a few different uh, faculty and staff members. I, you know, I want students to feel safe and comfortable and, and enjoy their school year and I want to provide the best learning environment for for everyone. You know I listen to a little bit of everything mostly uh, country and uh, rock and roll, older rock and roll 70s and 80s and things like that. Uh, big Kentucky fan uh, as far as basketball and things like that and uh, Yankees and baseball and, and Dallas Cowboys and, and football. You know, I'm like I said, a big sports fan, so I mostly watch sports and I'll maybe watch some old uh, comedies as far as uh, Friends or, uh, you know, Seinfeld or something like that. But I don't, you know, unless it's a, a sports uh, 
you know, program. I usually don't watch a whole lot of other type of TV shows. Uh, getting to know everybody, uh, it's, it's been a warm welcome from uh, faculty and staff and also students. So uh, just look forward to uh, being at home. And, and like I said, you all have made me feel comfortable and just want to, you know, make sure that everybody is, is getting what they need as far as faculty and staff and especially students. All right. Now, moving on to some sports news. We sent out some of our reporters to talk to coaches and players in fall sports to gather some insights on their seasons. Uh, so far, the season's gone well. Uh, two and out, uh, obviously, and we got a couple more tough weeks to go for district play. And I think we'll, we're going to handle those games pretty well, and then we're going to go win the district this year. Are you confident in the freshman this year? Uh, yeah, our freshman team is great. We got a lot of you know, young talent uh, coming through the ranks, and uh, they've been playing JV for me these last couple of weeks because their games got canceled. But uh, they're doing a great job playing up, playing with these older kids too. All right, thank you. All right, I'm Cody Burns, and I'm with Morgan Green. Uh, how do you think your season's going to go? I think our season's going to go pretty well. Uh, we have a lot of good players, and we're doing pretty well right now. Uh, who do you think your toughest competition is going to be? Uh, definitely Madisonville. We haven't lost a region game in like over five years, so it's really going to be a good competition. All right, so what are your expectations for this year? Um, this year, as always, for our varsity team, we expect to win the region tournament, which will be our fifth year um, with me. It'll be the eighth year in a row for the program. We'll have to check the flag to make sure on that one. Right. But um, um, that's for varsity as of every year. My seniors have a huge goal of going in and winning their region tournament so that we can make it to the state tournament. Uh, Kentucky Volleyball is ranked. Um, top five of the nation. So for our girls who spend anywhere from 10 to 12 months a year playing, it's a huge accomplishment to make it that far with the top athletes in the state. Uh, how many teams do you coach? Um, I actually coach two teams this year. I'm coaching JV and varsity. I have an assistant coach, Serena Springer, um, which a lot of you may or may not know because she was the volleyball coach at North Middle School. She's our freshman coach, which is awesome. Um, to have somebody that sent us studs for multiple years to now actually come up and join us at the high school level. All right. Uh, how many seniors do you have this year and, and what are your expectations for them? My seniors are going to be hit hard. We have seven seniors. They're awesome. A lot of you guys will know them. They've Every single one of them have played uh, for four years. Actually, no. We have six of them have played for four years. One of them, this is actually only her third, she took a break her junior year. Shout out to Sophie. Um, those girls, they're awesome. Uh, like I said, that's their goal. They've watched the girls in the past, you know, make it to the state tournament. So those kids, I mean, they have high expectations and they're ready to fill them. All right, I'm here with the boys soccer team. I'm going to ask them a couple questions. Uh, how's the season going? It's going pretty good. We've only lost one game out of seven. So I would say that, they're, that we're on the right track. All right. What are your expectations for the rest of the year? Uh, our expectations are to for sure win region and also get as far as we can in state, but also just to have fun with our team. All right. What's your toughest competition? Uh, this year it's probably going to be Hopkinsville like it is every year. It's going to be on September 17th, so we need everybody there to come support. It's going to be a home game. Everybody come out. I'm Jack, and I am here with Kevin Carter himself, teacher of U.S. History. U.S. History, and we're doing Hot Ones, which is also on YouTube. Which it basically is, we're going to go from eat wings as we ask questions, and each wing gets progressively more hot. So this is the less hot, and this goes the most hot. Let's begin. Mr. Carter, let's yes. eat our first wing. Okay. 
Cheers to you, buddy. Oh, you want already all right. Yeah, that's, that's kind of, yeah. yeah. I don't know what we got on there, but that's all right. Oh. It's pretty good. Yes, it is. Shout out to Mr. B for the wings. Yes, thank you. They're pretty good. All right, first question. Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite student? I'm going to go old school on this one. I had a student, Evan Hopgood. Evan Hopgood? He's pretty high at the top. Yeah, he's pretty, he's pretty high up there. Evan Hopgood's my cousin. I did not know that. Yes, uh, my mom's aunt is uh, Lana Hopgood and Chris Hopgood. Okay. Their son is Evan Hopgood. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. He's your favorite? He's pretty high up on the list. That's pretty neat. Yeah. I never knew that. Yeah. yeah. He's a family member in line. I'm a little concerned about this toilet paper right now. I don't think single ply is going to cut it here at the school because look at that. Oh, yeah. That's already. Yeah. It's a, how often do you eat spicy food? Um, probably once a week, I'd say. What kind of spicy food? Uh, we have like a lo mein noodle dish at our house yeah. and we just kind of spice it up with some sriracha sauce. What is your favorite hot sauce? Kind of... Sriracha? Uh, well, no, I would say that's what we probably eat most commonly. But, okay. you know, I'm just a straight kind of Tabasco kind of guy. All right. I, was, yeah. I think Tabasco's a little bit too watery for my taste. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> what is the hottest thing you have ever eaten? Uh, my neighbor, Jason Davis, had a bottle, and I'm not sure what brand it was, okay. but it came in a, a hand grenade bottle, and it was hot sauce. Yeah. Or at least that's how he presented it to me was that it was some kind of hot sauce. And so we had some of that, and that's, it was just straight fire. It was not in a good way. It was just... Too hot, too ridiculously hot. I one time ate uh, the world's hottest pepper, the Carolina Reaper, yes. and I got very ill. Yeah. It was uh, the worst pain I've ever felt in my life. Yeah. yeah. So these aren't too bad? No. All right. It's good. Uh, who is more attractive, you or Mr. Mattingly? That's not even close. For one thing, it's, it's like comparing apples to oranges because he's like 20 years younger than me. Yeah. But I'm still more attractive than him. That's what I was even thinking. If, even too. with the 20 years difference. You know, uh, we'll see what that guy looks like when he's 46. He won't have anything. No, he's got he's no. got very little right now. He doesn't even have style like you do. You're, you're exactly. wrecking the polo. Exactly. Right. Well, I'm That's glad that other people notice it too. Yeah. yeah. It's not. It's really not even close. How long have you been at County? Uh, this is my 23rd year teaching here at County. 23rd year. Now we're going to the extra hot. Extra hot. That's got a little bit more kick to it. That has a little kick to it. Yeah. There's definitely a step up there from hot to extra hot. You're getting your money's worth on that. Yeah. So, that's good. You can even tell it had a little bit more redness. I'm not sure what it was, but it's good. It is pretty good. Mm-hmm. It's very good. It does have kick to it. Yes. I like it. Mm -hmm. Just a tinge. It's getting there. You know what I was okay. telling somebody the other day? The best part of a chicken leg is the cartilage on the end of the bone. Are you people don't. That? People don't appreciate that. What is your favorite pair of socks? My favorite pair of socks is actually a pair that I do not own. And I'm still kind of kicking myself because I didn't buy them. But in Chicago, I saw a pair of socks that had, um, it looked like the bandana that Tupac Shakur used to wear tied around his head okay. on, a, on a Chewbacca. And then it said Tupac instead of Chewbacca. That's kind of epic. Uh, you like who is a better person, uh, Amanda Joyner or Andrea Tilly? <laughs> That's not even much of a choice. Do I get a third option there? There's, there's nothing really. There's, I mean, I don't know. It's like, how do you choose between two wrong answers? Which one? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Miss Tilly has cool shoes. Uh, fake news. How uh, so? I don't know. She wore, okay, the other day she wore a camouflage vest. Yeah? Really? All right. This is the extra, extra, extra hot wing. We have smeared in hot sauce. So let's, let's eat it. Okay. Mm. I feel, like this is, I feel like this is packaged wrong. I really almost do. What about you? What'd you say? Can we say that? Packing strong? Packaged wrong. I feel like the... Yeah, I feel like this one's hotter. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like the... Just the... Hold up. It's kicking in right now. Maybe I just need to... Yeah. I'm still not getting it. And I, I got feel, it. I feel like the other one was hotter. <laughs> really? Yeah. I just need to look on it. I think that does the trick. I don't know. You know, to your last question, Miss Tilly does at least wear the same shoes. Miss yeah. Joyner, I've caught her twice wearing two shoes that were not matched. That's embarrassing. And it's happened twice. So I'll That's go back and I'll give Miss Tilly the edge for at least being able to put two shoes yeah, together, together in the morning. Yeah. So there she goes. What's your favorite so. superpower? My favorite superpower? Yeah. Of a superhero or just one that I would have myself? One you would have yourself. I would be able to change my density. Density? So, yes. So you can like float? 
yes, okay, okay, so that covers flying, but yeah. then also it's like you try to grab me, and next thing you know, I weigh as much as the moon, and you can't do anything with me. That's smart. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I just, respect that. It's not out there. But then I think also if I was super dense that you could like try to shoot a gun at me and nothing would penetrate me because I'm yeah. super dense. Thank you for tuning into this week's intergalactic episode of the CCN. Be sure to stay tuned after our sign-off for information on how you can hit us up on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. We'll be back next time letting you know what's going on in your world. Have a great day, County. I'm Jada Hamby. And I'm Jacob Latimer, signing out. Introducing our new segment, Hot Ones, where we bring your favorite teachers and ask them spicy questions oh gosh, while they eat spicy. That again. <laughs> <laughs> that again. Sorry, I was the like, problem, there were notifications, so I yeah. was like trying to read it. Yeah, you Hold keep on. getting notifications on the iPad. Yeah, yeah, can you yeah. turn on Do Not Disturb, preferably? That's it's screen not, locked. That's, that's, <laughs> thanks. It's very odd. Also, why did I say it like that? Okay. Start with also. also. Let me go back. Yeah, just a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. All right, we're good. Also, we'll have the... <laughs> also... <clears throat> it's okay. It's not like this is your first year <gasps> anchoring. I know. Yeah, you're just not. Yeah. Also... <laughs> oh, good God. <laughs> <laughs> a little spot. And look at the back. <laughs> Did you have to say it? Also... Also... <laughs> also... Just a little spicy. All right, shh, here we go. You got this, Jacob. You can do it, bro. <laughs> also, we'll have this week's feature story to the moon. What? <laughs> <laughs> Space to the moon. You don't do this for right. <laughs> Just a little spicy. Also, we'll go to the moon. <laughs> we are going to moon. <laughs>